It's game two in the playoffs in the Electro Sports Baseball League season. And uh, Bulldoze Power taking on Peninsula Transport. And we've got a one game lead in the three game series. Uh, Furious Spongebath is out. He's wounded. He's injured. Uh, so uh, so that means that Big Rod McGurk has had to come on in his place. Uh, and I've, I've, I've put Rod on uh, on first base. And uh, that's, that's moved... Uh, whatever her name is. Kojak. Let's move Koj Kojak over to third. Uh, I don't know how it's going to pan out. Anyway, here's Cindy. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Purely because uh, Big Rod's fielding from third base was not all of that. Cindy there with a the base hit to get us underway. Lovely job. There's that evil doer, Ramirez. He's going to he's gonna cause us trouble again if we're not careful. Here's Hatchet Malibu. Got a home run last week. That's nice. Uh, that's good to see. That's, uh, yeah, that's appetizing. Really appetizing. Yeah, that's, that's definitely what it is. So give me an appetite for more home runs. Jasbert Copacabana is pitching. Oh, that was a that was a nice pitch that we should have we should have nailed that. Should have tattooed a picture of a lady on it. Well, she's popped that one up. That was it was a little bit high. Jasbert there was doing a very solid job at uh, at pitching high in just the kind of place that I like to bite on. His failure. Uh, well, he did nothing for us at all in the last game, so we're we're just gonna have to see if he can flipping heck, gonna have to see if he can redeem himself in this one. And uh, well, he's he's gonna have to, otherwise there will be some terse words for my namesake, uh, and that's that's never something that you want. That's a nice hit, and uh, and failure will land himself on first, uh, advancing Cindy to second. Oh, we could have we could have made some progress there, but we didn't. Uh, here's Papal Event Horizon. Uh, I batted one of four last time around. So it's not ideal. Uh, we did come away with the win, and that's the bit that matters. Uh, Copacabana is throwing all kinds of business at us today, and uh, he's, he's clearly come with a big bag of tricks. Well, we'll see if we can't take his big bag of... He's going to ask a catch. No, it's not. It's not a catch. And that has loaded the bases, which means that we're about to be out. Here's Big Rod off the bench and uh well it's this is this is all on you rod all of it it goes to the first one this could be trouble it's only a one out it's only one out we got it in we got a, we got a run we got a run yes here's zoltan batted 750 last week with a home run in there as well uh runners now second and third and zoltan wastes no time at all swings at the first pitch and that will be a second run Okay, we've we've accomplished everything we need to in this innings. Uh, we can we can leave any time we please. Here's Julie Hardware. No idea what Julie's got in store for us. Let's find out. Wait for it. Uh, see that that kind of high pitch causes me all kinds of trouble. Julie Hardware with a nice drive into the foul zone. There, well, it's it's not what you want to see. Julie Hardware up the middle, and that's going to be run number three. Uh, Bulldozer Power coming out, looking lively. Excellent, frankly. Here's Kojak. Uh, she only got one hit last week as well. Uh, she's going to be playing third base for us today. And uh, hopefully that doesn't doesn't throw her off a game. Speaking of it, throwing off your game. I mean, look, that was a, that's a nightmare pitch to deal with. Um, which is why we didn't bother trying. She likes that though, and it's out. Okay, well, at the end of one, well, I want, no, never mind, we're not at the end of anything. Let's move on. Here's Scott Lemon. Uh, one of five for him last week. Uh, Bubbly Merchandise will be doing the honours for us. That's a pitch in a bit. Uh, good job. Um, yeah, Bub Bubbles is uh, is taking us on the, uh, on the road trip of baseball today. That's a flipping demon placement. Failey's going to hust that over the third, but it's not going to get there without trouble. That's all right. Kojak picks it up. I can't get used to Kojak being on third base. I'm going to have to remind myself that's where she is. Uh, anyway, the, the first batter getting on base is not a good sign. We could be in for a, a bit of a score fest here. Uh, let's go do the same thing again. Make it a high one. That's it. Yeah, that one's gone. Uh, that one's gone into the crowds. Right. Summon just to just to finish. Oh dear. See, you can tell when it's a bad pitch. 
All right, well, that's, that's our lead cut in, uh, into pieces very, very quickly. And with no outs, uh, Peninsula Transport have just knocked in two runs. It's okay. We're going to be okay. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. We're going to be okay. Bubbly, pull it together. There you go. Yeah, throw something rubbish. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's bring out the curve. We don't want to overuse it. Curve being my favorite pitch and all. Uh, what are we looking at? One and one. Okay, uh, let's uh, let's give it some of this. That's probably slight. There you go. We we drew a foul out of him. Right, try him on the change up. See if we can't fox him. Do you think that foxed him? No, I rather think it didn't. Either of you. It's all good. And that's another double we've given up there. Well, Peninsula Transport came to play. They want to keep things interesting here in the uh, in the semi finals. So, uh, well, I guess they are doing. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. Would that bubbly, guess someone out, would you? It will make you feel better, and it will, it will really improve my mood as well. Strike two, but if you say so, ref. Uh, okay, go on, go on, go on. That one's gone skyward. Papal, 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 papal. And a catch. Good. All right. Out number one. That's more like it. Kira refund up next. Batted in two runs last week. Uh, well, I say last week. I mean, typically you'd play these back to back, but you know what I mean. You know what I'm driving at. You know where I'm going with this. Uh, so, uh, so that's all right then. Strike one, bubbly merchandise. Now, if you could just get some of these insiders and safe a stolen third base. Oh, drama here in the uh, in the first inning. This, and in fact, a lot of drama in the first inning. Hatchet. Couldn't get it. And that's going to be a run. And uh, and a, a poor fielding choice there. Also gave up another double. Bubbly Merchandise is going to be absolutely hating herself right now. And we've got to keep her mood up because we can't, we can't just sub her out straight away. Doesn't matter if you're not executing. You've still got to execute. At least partially. If you wouldn't mind. Nice pitch. Um, right. Who are we pitching against? Shep Rotten. Okay. That one's gone skyward. Julie's looking for it. I don't know if it's going to come inside the fence. It has done. And that's out number two. Okay. Two outs. Jermaine Arc discharge. Next up to uh, next up to bat. We've got a runner on second. And uh, the scores are tied. Oh, Lorks. Yes. Oh, Lorks indeed. There you go. That's it. Yeah. Give us, give us loads more like that. Lots and lots of those. All right, that wasn't exactly what I asked for, but, you know, you carry on. Strike two. Come on, Bubbly, let's get a strike out. Go on, make it happen. Ball three. No. Okay, do it again, do it again. Do, do like that. I think you might see it coming. Failure. Has it. Out number three. Scores level at the end of one. Typical. Uh, bubbly merchandise is up to bat first. All right, just just wait out of pitches, bubbles, unless you really like the looks of it. Yeah. All right. Okay, you could have waited out of pitches. You, I mean, you hit it and you hit it into a decent location, just not with enough zest. Uh, Cindy, back round for her second at bat of the day, in the second inning. Oh God, this is going to be an absolute monster of a game. Unless we have one of those uh, BDP get out real quick innings. Well, we'll see how that goes. Uh, let's uh, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Ball two. Cindy is waiting for the pitch. She likes that. That's got some distance. That's got a lot of distance. Yep, that one's uh, out the back. Cindy Vapid came to play today. And, uh, well, she, she has done. Just there, look. She, she made that happen. And uh, Bulldozer Power again into the lead. Here's Hatchet Malibu. Could do with some magic from Hatchet. Doesn't waste any time. But has she got enough distance on... Yes, yes. Solid. His failure. Uh, he got his first hit of the playoff so far with his last at bat. But uh, is, he going to, is he going to deliver for us? Or uh, is he not? That's not a bad hit either. That's got some mileage. And it's a home run. Well, those of you expecting a low-scoring game are wrong. Uh, uh, you, largely, I would imagine, your expectations should have been settled by now anyway. But failure there answers his critics. 
by saying what? And uh, and that's the uh, that's the score. Back out to a three-run lead. One out so far, but that was the picture, so we really don't care. Uh, Copa Cabana is his mood is uh, is shaky at best. Uh, Papal there getting out for very little effort. His big Rod. Come on, Rod. You're only playing because Furious is injured. Don't swing at that. Uh, yeah, there we are. Big Rod McGurk. Two outs. He likes that. Probably shouldn't have. But we we put in our uh, our union mandated three runs there, so it's all good. Uh, Scrungy Gubbins will be up to uh, up to bat next for Peninsula Transport. And uh, he looks uh, he looks like he might be able to play. Ball one, nothing doing. Okay, start throwing some of this business in there. Okay, yeah, no, no, fouls are fine at this stage of the the, the affair. We just want you to uh, leave one that is uh, that is criminally uh, criminally in the zone, but uh, not hittable. Ball three, come on, there, bubbles, stick some on target. We might have to give a hit away, but we don't do walks, not at this level. All right, try him on the change-up. Maybe he'll be the first to whiff at it. No, he, he saw that coming. It's gone very deep. Zoltan's in the uh, in the country. And has it. Out number one. Uh, Jasper, Cobra Commander, the pitcher, is up next. All right. Also, they're starting to anticipate the uh, the uh, change-up at three. Okay, in which case, let's try him a change-up at not three. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, never mind. It's not your it's not your day for a change up, I reckon. All right, see if you can get him on a on a sneaky sinker. All right, Cindy, quick chalk to one, and that's out number two. Fielding, Scott Lemon next. Uh, got himself a double, but then I think pretty much everybody on the team got themselves a double at the last inning, so that's really nothing to report. Hatchet gets it, chucks it, and out number three. That was close. It was good though. Because that meant that we preserved our lead. Solid. Battle, the center fielder, number 97. Big Zoltan. He's he's batting 800 in the uh, in the series, but frankly, that doesn't mean anything. Uh, Zoltan can blow both hot and cold. He's got an adjustable lever that he uses uh, pre-game. Had he hit that just a little bit further, it would have been caught out by the outfielder. So, uh, anyway, Zoltan's gone. Here's Julie. Come on, Julie. Come on. Come on. Julie wastes no time in putting one foul. Brilliant. Come on, Julie. Come on. We hate you. Oh, Julie. Oh, what are you doing? What are you even... Dad. It's like I decided to swing at that before he even released the pitch. And sometimes you, you get that into your head. And it all just goes bad. Don't throw it at Kojak. Throw it for Kojak to hit. She's going to be caught there. Out number three. Well, that was there. There was the quick inning for you. Uh, let's not dwell on that for too long. Here's Jackson Clowncart. Landed himself a home run first time round. Uh, let's see if we can't make life a little bit more difficult for him this time. He anticipated the fastball. But couldn't hit it in a straight line. Because he's only a professional baseballer. Ball number one. Okay, come on, Bubbles. Come on, Bubbles. Ball number two. Pitch is going everywhere but where they need to be. That's uh, dangerous. Yeah, okay, right. Try try this. Sinking into the... Whatever. What, right in the centre of the... Uh, the strike zone? Yeah, yeah. He hit it foul anyway. I mean, it was a, it was a mess as far as he was concerned. So, there we go. Oh, flip. Stop sticking them straight down the middle. There you go. Two at bats, two home runs. That's what you want. Perfect. Lovely. Good. Get get out of it, clown car. You flaming clown car. If he drove a clown car, it would make him more human somehow. But he doesn't, so he isn't. Right. Let's get a change up in. That one's gone straight to Hatchet. She's got it. She's thrown to Big Rod, and that's out number one. Poncho Ramirez, the centre fielder, is, uh, is next up. Let's try him on a curve. All right. He didn't swing at it. No, uh, therefore, it's a, that's called a strike. He did swing at that. What's... Uh, no, no, there's nothing. Nothing happening there. Nothing to see. All right, just put this anywhere and then hope the fielders do the job. Hey, there it is. Bubbly Merchandise gets a strikeout. 
Lovely job. That will help her confidence out significantly. Here's Kira refund. No, it hasn't hasn't dented the uh, the confidence gap that we've currently got going on. But there's there's plenty of time left for that to happen. Good. Let them, just let them foul out. That, it's all good. All good. That one's legit. Flip and stop putting it down there, would you? That's a, that's a heck of a place to try and recover it from. Failure returns the ball to second base, and that's another double given up. Yeah, crumbs. Here's Shep Rotten. Uh, he didn't manage to do anything only with his first at-bat. We've got two outs here in the second, third, whatever. Uh, and uh, we're going to see if he can uh, accomplish anything. That'll do. Sweet. Okay, well, we gave up a run. But Bulldozer Power cling on to the lead. Six runs to four here at the end of the third inning. And uh, it will be Bubbly Merchandise once again to lead the way uh, on this batting campaign. Look, their pitchers almost had enough for the day. All right, Bubbles, just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Let him, let him throw his arm out. Strike two. All right, swing away if you feel like it. Didn't feel like it, huh? Oh, yeah, all right. You claiming that song? Yeah, you look jolly confident for a man whose team is losing. Uh, right, here's, uh, here's Cindy. She's playing all right so far today, and that's 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 nice to say. I mean, she, she's going, what do you mean all right? I hit a home flipping run. They're going to go, yes, yeah, that's all right. Do more of that. Ball three. No strikes as yet. Cindy gets a walk. All right. Good times. Well, that's the kind of result that we want. Here's uh, his Hatchet. And uh, we don't, we expect big things from Hatchet every single time. And most of the time, she really doesn't deliver on that. Sometimes, though, she puts in something that looks pretty ruddy promising. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Rounds third. And we're there. Uh, no, we didn't bother to run everybody for, for reasons I'm not wholly certain. I, I was fairly certain I pushed exactly the right button, but we just got a run. So that was that was jolly good. Uh, his failure. Uh, he's, he's come back to play some baseball with his bat. He's doing his little bouncy thing in the uh, in the batting zone. And, uh, and he's waiting for a ball that he likes the looks of. That one's solid. It's solid. It's definitely solid. Off the fence. Uh, lead runner is running. And that's another run. Come on, team. Let's be doing it. Uh, it's Paypal Event Horizon. Uh, a nice double there from failure. And, uh, and Bulldozer Power are looking relatively competent at bat today, although that's trouble. Paper will be out, but we now have a runner on third. You love to see it. Uh, here's Big Rod. 0 for 2 today, but he has had a run batted in. Um, and, uh, just in because Furious is injured, Big Rod. Remember, if you want to make your position any more tenable than it is at the moment, do something good. All right? Yeah. Not what you have been doing. Do something good. I even had to move Kojak because you're rubbish at playing third. And that means we've got Kojak playing third, and she's not She's not as good at... Why, you, why would you swing? Why would you, why would you swing at that? Out number three, uh, but Bulldozer Power now, eight runs. Okay, here comes Jermaine, Arc Discharge. And uh, he's he's going to be looking to, to accomplish something here, because so far he hasn't. That one's up. Go on, Julie, 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 Julie. It's over the fence, mate. What do you want me to do about that? Try harder. That's what I want you to do. You're the catcher. Catch stuff. Seems like a fairly basic bit of job description. Kojak with the dive. She doesn't quite get to it. But she is playing from an angle that is unusual. <clears throat> yeah, I'm making excuses for Kojak Mr. On. Here's uh, Scrungy Gubbins. Let's uh, see if he's, if he's feeling lively or if he's not. All right. Come on, Bubbly. You're going to have to do at least 70 pitches today, I'm afraid. Uh, we, can't, uh, we can't just conservative our way out of trouble in every game. <clears throat> right, uh, Jasbert Copacabana, the pitcher. They might take him out. Yep, there we go. It's Trace Attitude coming in in his place. All right. Okay, they've got uh, one runner on first, and it's one out. Trace Attitude there delivering on uh, what was asked of her. And uh, that's runners now first and second. Still one out. 
Scott Lemon next up to bat, and uh, he's uh, he's got a hit today. He'll be pleased with that. Strike number one. Come on, Bubbly. Let's make some memories. Strike number two. All right, okay. See if they anticipate the change up on third yet. What? And there. Get the easy. Should have taken the double. Should have gone for the double play there, but I'd, I'd momentarily forgotten who was where. Here's Jackson Clown Car. He's had uh, only two at bats today, and uh, he's had two home runs. He's a very, very, very dangerous individual. He's come in his... Oh, dear. He came, I was about to say he, he put his batting pants on this morning and it was all paying off for him, but it isn't. Uh, Hank Vengeance will be coming in to pitch. And uh, at the end of four, it is eight to four in favour of Bulldozer Power, who can, of course, qualify for the next round of the playoffs uh, with a win today. Zoltan Zoltan is, uh, is up to bat. Now, Vengeance, his accuracy is appalling. Uh, if we can if we can light him up even slightly, his confidence will take a knock and his accuracy will become even worse. In fact, if he gives up any walks, like that one, for example, his, uh, yeah. Yeah, his, his confidence is going to start uh, wobbling. Here's Julie Hardware. I think we might just let this guy just keep throwing. Because, uh, as it stands... Not a lot, uh, not a lot going. That one was ad adequately uh, accessible. I'm not stealing nothing, son. Nothing, nothing being stolen. You're all fine. That one was too low. Do you want to put in some more practice there, Hink? That one's going to be caught. Could be a pot. No, it's not going to be caught. It's a double play, though, because it's Julius Hardware. Have I mentioned how much we hate him? Anyway, two outs now. Kojak missed on to try and wrap things up for us in any way at all. I don't know what kind of pitch that was. And Kojak has still yet to find her groove. Uh, unless that groove, of course, is getting out cheaply. So uh, that will bring Cuckoo Joski up to give it a spin. He's had a double. But uh, doubles happen a lot. Strike one. Okay. Come on, Bubbles. And we've gone for Hatchet. She's got it. And uh, that's out one. Good. Poncho Ramirez. He might be good at fielding, but uh, as far as his batting numbers are concerned, so far, not so much. That one's gone skyward. Zoltan's going, well, I suppose I'll get it. And he does. Now number two. Kira refund now. Two for two today. Doubles off both of them. Crikey. They've got some, they've got some hitters who really came to... Uh, to make a moment for themselves. Several moments, one might argue. Ball two, bubbly there, off target twice. Strike one, that's, that's yeah, 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 there you go. That's the, that's the ticket, there we go, and a change up. Yep, didn't go for that. What should we finish them with? Well, I think we'll finish them with throwing the ball down here in a moment, as we surely will do, and they'll then hit that and probably get a double. Oh, ow! Oh my god! Oh no! Oh, and it, I mean, the fact that we've got a female pitcher is possibly the only salvation we've got there, but she's gonna be, she's, no, she's still in one piece, but she's not, she's not good. No, you can, you can sit down, oh, flipping neck, bubbly, no one should have to take that. Oh, crumbs. Oh, oh god. Oh, I, I felt that, even though I've got slightly different equipment, but oh, deary me. Um, right, well, let's uh, let's sit her down. Uh, we need someone violent to come in. Uh, yeah, Disneyland is coming on in place of uh, our, our bubbles. I, I feel for you. I really, really do. Um, that was that was rude. Um, yeah. Uh, well, well, we've not seen a we've not seen a pitcher be hit for a while. Uh, usually, of course, they they just get brained. Uh, but that was oh. I apologise to the viewers at home. Uh, there was there was no explicit warning that there would be graphic violence in today's uh, uh, today's game. Um, well, I apologise for any moments of, of discomfort that may have caused the viewing public. Crikey! Anyway, settle it back down. Mark Disneyland now pitching for us, and uh, it's strike two, ball one, two outs. Uh, you just need to put this dude away. Come on, Mark. Ball two. 
Keep it up. Keep doing those. Just, I mean, oh no, that's not it. No. Down the line. Foul. All right, chuck this one like there. That's it. Let's get the full count up. Now, try the change up. Be good with it. Uh, not sure what's happening. Throw it. Out number three. And uh, we're all good. Uh, a, a potential disaster there for Bulldozer Power. And it was averted at the last moment. And uh, the score remains 8-4 to four as we enter the sixth inning. And it's Mark Disneyland up to bat. And, uh, well, Mark, take your time, mate. Take your time. Because this clown, he's useless. All right, so just, just, yep, see? You could end up on base mark, which is not something that I imagine you ever anticipated happening. Uh, but there we go. Oh, he's, oh he's, he's found a pitch that he can do. Oh, wait, no, he hasn't. Full count now. Mark swings big. It's not going to be big enough, but good effort. Uh, it, it took six pitches to get him out, and that will do me just nicely. Uh, mark Disneyland there caught out in uh, left field. Uh, here's Cindy. Waiting for a pitch. Which, from this picture, you could be waiting a while, but there it is. Uh, enough for Cindy to just tickle it out into centre field, and she'll get on first. Uh, here's Hatchet. Two singles for her to, so far today, which is good to see. Wastes no time getting everybody out there, and uh, that's a pity. Uh, well, does. Uh, We've got a lead, you see. When we when we have a lead, we get out really, really quickly. Here's uh, it's Grungy Gubbins. Two at bats so far today. It hasn't hit anything. Gives that a good go, but Cindy's going. Not today, you don't. No, I'm Cindy flipping vapid. I'm on the money today. Uh, Hank Vengeance, the pitcher, is being substituted for Hugo, Hugo Bo Blur Bear Babble. Hugo, that's his name. Blowfish. Ah. Okay. Well, they've they brought in a specialist to try and do something good. Strike one there. Uh, and, of course, it is worth noting that uh, Mark Disneyland is a junk pitch specialist. So uh, we should do some of that. He hasn't got much zing on his uh, on his fastball either. Oh! Ow! No! Oh! Talk to me, Mark. Mark, no. Say it ain't so. Mark. 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 Well, he's standing up, but he is very much dead. Um, okay. Flaming heck, that's... Oh, oh gosh. It's going to be a while before he's playable again as well. I apologise for getting very loud, but it, it took me by surprise. Um, children, you may not want to wish... Uh, you, you, your parents, you may want to stop your children watching the rest of the show. Uh, clearly, there's, uh, there's violence... Uh, going on here and and actually having taken uh, two pitches uh, to the wounded table um, this this could be uh, this could be a problem if we manage to go any further because uh, uh, you know pitches they do get a little bit tired anyway uh, Jeff conservatives in for us because uh, we needed someone to pitch if they kill Jeff conservative then that's a that's gonna be a real dilemma uh, anyway that was a base hit Bulldozer power unnerved maybe a little uh, at the uh, at the death of two two pitchers. Lorks. All right, this is uh, this is that boy clown car. He's gone straight to McGurk. McGurk takes a pitch. He's, that's good. You could have got a double off that one though, McGurkus. Again, we we missed the opportunity for a double play, but we'll always take always take the safe out. You do them often enough, and uh, and the whole team will be out. Uh, baseball wisdom. Yeah, baseball flaming wisdom. Who's this? This is Kuku Jorski. They're playing quite well as well. All right, okay, yep. And uh, what now? Well, I don't know, Jeff. You pitch what you like, mate. You're pretty good. Where's that gone? That's gone. Kojak's got this. And it's safe. Uh, pulled back a run there, Peninsula Transport. Poncho Ramirez hasn't had a hit yet today, is up next. And uh, Conservatives' confidence is already starting to wane. I think it's his confidence is only waning, though, because he's anticipating that he might be killed at any moment. Um, and, that, I mean, that would wane anybody's confidence. You don't want a waned confidence, given half a chance. Cindy gets it. Cindy Vapid... Is having the game of her career. Tiger Chain Gang is next up to pitch. 
uh, for Peninsula Transport. We coughed up another run um, and another picture. But here we are, entering the seventh. Uh, Ulysses failure, three of three today. A home run, a single, a double. Three runs batted in. He's uh, he's doing reasonably well, and he's wasted everything there on the first pitch. Well done. Thanks for turning up. Here's Papal Event Horizon. He's had a poor game. Uh, so let's see if we can't turn that around. Strike one, ball one. It is uh, it is Tiger Chain Gang doing the pitching, and we're waiting uh, we're waiting for a pitch that feels viable. Three balls now, and that's a walk for Papal. Yes, mates, you hang your head in shame. That's what you deserve. Here's uh, Big Rod. He's he's over three. Flipping substitutes. Yeah, I know. I'd have brought in uh, Vanessa Hammock. Veronica. Veronica Hammock uh, were it not for the fact that she's an outfielder. And therefore wouldn't really be suited to playing on base. Oh dear. Well, that's the end of this one then. Big Rod there. Doing what we asked him to. Well, not even slight. Here's Kira Refund. Three of three. Two doubles and a single and a run batted in. And uh, she'll be hoping to build on that tally. As she takes on the conservative. But she missed that one by all of it. Yeah. She had, she had a big old swing. Got none of it. Jeff, come on. In your own time. In your own time, Jeff. Jeff conservative there. Giving up a run. The, to say that the shine has come off Jeff conservative's pitching crown is an understatement. See, look. You, you're getting them to whiff at the first pitch, which is great. But you... The ones that are important are like, you know, second pitches, third pitch. Uh, the ones where uh, they could potentially leave the game for this inning. Hatchet's going to have that one. She does. And that's out number two. All right. Here's Ark Dark D. Dark 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 Flark. And uh, he's, going to, he's got a bat, so uh, I assume he's come to try and hit the ball. Uh, this is astute. This is what I've learned from many seasons of coaching uh, Bulldozer Power. All right, you're going to get him out there, Big Rods. There we are. Well done, team. And uh, at the end of seven, it is eight to five in favour of Bulldozer Power, but no, neither team looks particularly dominant as things stand. Uh, Bulldozer Power have had a couple of flashes of lightning, uh, which have made things work for them. Uh, but uh, Peninsula Transport are hanging on in there. Uh, which could take this one either way. Zoltan's up to bat. Zoltan aims squarely at the pitcher, but only manages to get through his legs. It's fine. It's fine. He's on base. They have been through a couple of pitches, you know. Uh, if we do manage to disable one of them, they're going to be getting deep into their uh, into their bullpen. His Julius flipping gets everyone out hardware. He's, uh, he's waiting for the gold. Waiting for the gold. Waiting for the gold. That wasn't gold. No, no, no. That was sort of bronzish. Hardware. He's done it again. Good lads. Double play. We hate him. We hate Julius Hardware. His Kojak Mistron not had a hit today. And virtually the only member on the team not to do so. Swings long at that, but it's not long enough. She's gone as well. Well, another quick inning there for Bulldozer Power, which is super. It's not super at all. Um, no, it's not. Scrungy Gubbins uh, next up to bat. And then the pitcher's on, which means they'll probably sub him again. Uh, that would be a... Ooh, that, uh, talking about getting deep into the uh, into the bullpen. Uh, into the depth chart. That would that would do it. Okay, ball one. All right. Come on, Jeff. I believe in you. Strike two. Lovely, lovely sinky curve business going on there from Jeff. The conservative, conservative. That one's gone skywards. Idiot boys after it. Has it. Out number one. His chain gang. Are they keeping him or are they dumping him? What? Oh, there's a shock up. They're bringing in Mighty Buffon to uh, to pitch in his stead. Uh, Buffon hasn't played so far in this uh, in this series, but maybe maybe today's his magic moment. Well, he he goes for his magic moment. Zoltan. Zoltan has the catch. Scott Lemon, two of four. He's had a double and a single. He's playing respectably. Uh, whether he's playing respectfully is uh, a different matter. I don't know why. I, uh, I, I don't necessarily associate disrespectful play with Scott Lemon, but 
there it is. You know, it was there. I said it. And, uh, and th here we are. All right. With the change up. And the pop up. Hardware. Anytime. Is making a catch. And uh, that's the side retired. Linda doesn't care. It's coming into pitch. She's actually a pretty strong pitcher. Uh, is Linda. And uh, here we are in the ninth inning. Uh, bulldozer power. Have the opportunity to build on their lead. Jeff is here. He's going to have a swing. Go on, Jeff. Wah! Jeff, conservative, gets a base hit. Yep. His uh, is Cindy Vapid. She's done everything we've asked of her today. And, uh, and frankly, whatever happens here doesn't really matter. She's done her part. And uh, citizenship uh, guaranteed by service. No, 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 Cindy, Cindy, no, that was that was in swinging. You didn't need that one. Too high, Sims. Too high. But it's okay. Jeff's going to run out to second. You'll get caught. It's okay. All right, Cindy, there. Uh, well, she. I can't criticise it. Everybody's been swinging at a load of rubbish uh, from time to time. Hatchet has had a couple of double play moments, but has also got two hits today. So uh, she's she's coming out about evens. Oh, dearie me. <clears throat> well, about evens is all well and good, I suppose, but there we are. So, it is it is down to the final uh, the final at-bat for, uh, for Peninsula Transport, his, uh, his Jacko clown car. And uh, he has, he's their, he's their home run uh, big dog. Lots of home runs for him today. We'll be, we'll be aiming not to give him any more. That was nice. Hardware, 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 hardware. Has it. Kuko Joski up next. Uh, batting 500 on the day. Double single run batted in. A bit of everything. Solid play for Kuko Joski. Strike one. Can Jeff get it done? We've got cattle prods. He's, uh, he's, in, he's in the dugout right now. And he's, he's, well, he's not. He's in the bullpen. But we'll call it the dugout for the sake of calling it the dugout. He's there. He's, he's throwing some beanbags around, starting to limber up. Uh, that one's gone high. Hardware says he has it. I don't believe a word he says. Perhaps I should in these cases, but it doesn't really matter. It's Poncho Ramirez, 0 for 4. Heck of a fielder. Clearly terrible at bat. Yep. Yep. No, I don't even care. I don't care about the jinx. Uh, he's rubbish. Load of old Tosh. Cindy rounds out a good day with uh, the uh, beast fielding that puts Bulldozer Power through to the second round of the playoffs. Uh, but at what cost, friends? At what cost? Eight to five, the final score. Um, Bubbly Merchandise and uh, Mark Disneyland. We're waiting to hear back from the hospital as to how they're getting on. Bubbly initially shook it off. She might have been wearing uh, a, uh, a cup of some description, but... We're just going to have to find out how, how she's doing. Mark Disneyland, however, is, is probably dead. Um, yeah. Anyway, D Disneyland gets the win. Really? He didn't even pitch a full inning. No, but he, he gets the win. Well, that seems like uh, incredibly unreasonable. Uh, with a save by Jeff Conservative. Uh, and uh, that will be good. Ulysses failure. Really? Why? All right. Three out of four hits. Yeah. A home run. Yeah. A two base hit. Yeah. Oh, okay. You got a double. Okay, all right, fine, I'll allow it. Uh, Jackson Clamcar could only get the second star of the day despite having two home runs. Sucks to be you, Jacko. Well, we've won the conference semi-finals. Way to go. And look at that startling piece of blue imagery we've got going on there with which we can celebrate. Hooray for us. Uh, well, we've, we've still got three teams to qualify for the next round. So uh, let's uh, look at the Axemen against the Minstrels. Axemen could go through with a win here. And uh, they look they look good for it, and they have done. So in two two games, nice clean progression for them. Uh, the beekeepers against the Steganauts. Steganauts are a game ahead, and uh, Arbogast Flares is pitching for them. He's not the best pitcher in the world, so uh, this one could go either way. The beekeepers, of course, dominating early in the season, and they dominate this one too. A seven to nothing victory keeps their playoff dreams alive. Colonel School. Versus Stardos of Human Resources, it's one and one in the series, and uh, frankly, someone's got to win. There you are. Right, 
Okay, who's it going to be? Jeff with boats, pitching for Colonel School, starred as a human resources. Uh, I've got uh, Vicky the Flamboyant on the mound. Hooker's True Boy, Eric C. Ape, K Kangaroo Carter are, are, are the notable players for Colonel School. Uh, <laughs> Party Boy, Len Styrofoam, and Margot Spatula are notable for Stardozer. I'm building, I'm bigging this one up, you see, because this is a, a decider. Stardozer off to a lead, and, well, it's not a big one. But uh, three to nothing was the final score, and they're through as well. Uh, this only leaves uh, the Steganauts against the Beekeepers to be cleaned up. Let's clean it. Beekeepers ahead early, and they, they, there was a comeback from the Steganauts, but the Beekeepers pushed straight back out again. And that will lead us into the semi finals, where it is uh, the Stardozer Human Resources against Bulldozer Power, your next match. Uh, human resources have given us trouble over the season. I think I think we lost to them twice. Um, Xavier, Javier, Javier, a sensation, will be pitching for Stardozer. Vivian Crumble, oh, we're really in trouble, is pitching for Bulldozer Power. I look forward to seeing you for the game. I've been Colonel Failure. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.